Hey everybody, it's Greg from 9 Volt Games. I remember you guys picking my nose, but I wasn't. Um, <laughs> so I think I, uh, I said in one of my past videos that I put up my, my Morrowind map and I had actually put up two new racks and I didn't figure out what I was going to use them for, but uh, now I do. Wait, that didn't even make sense. All right, you know, I'm not going to edit this. I know what I'm going to use them for now and I'll tell you in a second, but uh, I'll show you the rack and my map, the Morrowind map right here. Diesel had it framed. Well, I framed it. Nice Christmas tree shop frame. Um, I also got one for Skyrim, but somehow I don't know how I pulled this off. My wife said that I could actually have it upstairs in the living room because it actually looked like nice aesthetic. Um, so above the TV is where my two new racks are, and that's Scorpion and Sub Zero up there. And uh, let's get to it. I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to be doing with these racks. So. I came to the realization after watching a uh, friend's video there, Geeker Days, that I hope I'm in the I hope I'm in the frame. That'd be cool. Um, when it comes to collecting, I collecting games like for the the GameCube and you know the the regular Xbox, the PS2. I really only want to collect games that I've actually played and played and beaten, um, simply because I I just won't go back and play them. Now, I'm not done collecting for the regular Nintendo and the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis um, just because those games can be played, you know, for 15 minutes at a time. And with the PS2 games and the, the GameCube and Xbox games that I do like, they usually take, you know, hours. you got to set aside hours to play for them, and I just don't have that time anymore. So, basically, what I've got is what I'm going to have <laughs> for my collection. Now... Xbox has still got a couple ones that I want to get. Uh, GameCube, I still have a bunch of games that I actually want to get to fill in the collection. But PS2, I'm pretty well set on. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this rack for my PS2 games since I really won't be adding to it anymore. And then if I can, I'll fit my Xbox ones in here. Um, the PS2, all I really got to get is I, I want Dark Cloud 1 and 2. Uh, I want Soul Nomad. And that's it. Everything else that I, I want in my collection I already have. So this will probably be the last time I ever go through my PS2 collection because it will be up so high you won't even be able to see it in any other videos. And I figured I'll give it like a, a farewell send-off since it's almost fully complete. Oh yeah, Okami. I need Okami. Um, I had the Wii version and I got rid of it and I originally had it in Ico. So there's, <laughs> there's five games. Um, but yeah. I mean, that's it, though. I'll leave five spaces open, and then that's it. There's nothing else that I want. Um, anything else that I, I buy, if I said I played and beaten, I'm lying. And that's about it. Everything I got here, I've either... I've, I've played everything I got here. Not necessarily beat all of them, but I've at least played them all. So, I'm just going to go run through them really quick, quicker than any of my other videos, and I'm going to line them up here. And uh, I'm not going to do an alphabetical order. I'll take care of all that shiz later. Alright, so, let's do it like this. I'll also take out games now that I actually am going to get rid of, uh, which probably mostly consists of sports games, so don't get excited like you're going to ask me for them. <laughs> uh, Final Fantasy XII. Final Fantasy XII, story about me keeping this is because I actually absolutely hated it. I bought the collector's edition when it came out, which is not this one. I sold it and bought it back. Um, I absolutely hated this game when it first came out, and then I played 13, and I grew a real appreciation for 12. It's like one of those things like I took it for granted and I really shouldn't have because it actually is a good game. I just wish it was called something other than Final Fantasy. So that, there. Nice steelbook case too. Uh, frequency. I've said enough about Frequency. If you don't know Frequency by now, after all the shit I've said about Frequency and Amplitude, shame on you. It's, it's the godfather of uh, Guitar Hero, Rock Band, blah, blah, blah. Plaza, blaza. Uh, Front Mission 4. Front Mission 4, I did actually get into a little bit. I never beat it. Um... I'm not a super huge Front Mission fan. I've always wanted to be, if that makes sense. I, I, some of you gamers obviously will get that. You really want to be because you can have the most in-depth conversation I've ever had with anybody is my limited knowledge on Front Mission in Elder Scrolls games. Uh, Guilty Gear XX Core. Uh, the reason I bought Guilty Gear XX Action Core is because I wanted to keep up with the you know newest. Um, it's the only Guilty Gear that I actually own on a console. No, that's a lie. It's the only Guilty Gear I own for PS2. Um, I would have more, but I actually, every time a new one came out, I traded my old one to get the updated version. 
Gilda Garrett is uh, my second favorite fighter fighting series of all time. Harvey Birdman, Attorney at Law. I love the cartoon on Adult Swim, and I also love Ace Attorney, and that is both. And if you've never played it, you're missing out, man. Capcom made a real gem here. It's very short, though, but obviously for the price you could probably find it now, 10 bucks. It's worth it. Uh, Katamari Damacy. That's what I need. We love Katamari. Uh, Katamari Damacy, we love Katamari, Katamari Forever, beautiful Katamari, and, uh, what was a, a portable one? Ah, uh, me and my Katamari. They're all the same goddamn game. I don't know why you really need the sequels. I mean, technically, I could get by without even getting We Love Katamari, but I beat both of them, and I just wanted my collection. Uh, Katamari games are fun, and I can't explain why. No one can really explain why. Because if I tell you that it's just about you rolling up smaller things to become a bigger thing, it sounds stupid. <laughs> you want to start at a paperclip and then roll up all the planets. Like, that's the end game for that. It doesn't sound fun to you, I know, but I can't explain it. It's when you get into it, it's the OCD aspect of the game that really gets at you, and then you find out you're addicted. Uh, Kingsfield. I used to like Kingsfield on PS1. Uh, this one I just barely played, and I would actually like to get back into it at some point. Um, I know if it wasn't for Kingsfield, we wouldn't have Dark Souls or, or Demon Souls. So that's more of an appreciation, like a grandfather thing, you know. Kingdom Hearts. Uh, my dad actually bought me Kingdom Hearts. I was still in high school when Kingdom Hearts came out, right? Yep. I was, uh, I was going into my senior year. Kingdom Hearts came out. My dad bought it for me. Um, probably thought I was gay. No, there's anything wrong with that. He just didn't understand. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, Kingdom Hearts 2, I never finished. Um, for some reason, I really couldn't stand this game. But I love Kingdom Hearts 1 so much that I'll keep 2. I mean, there's no point in getting rid of it, right? Because I already got it. I, I played half of it. I just can't bring myself to finish it. Um, King of Fighters 11, as of current, this is my favorite King of Fighters game ever created. No, no more needs to be said. King of Fighters 2006, if you go back uh, about 15 videos, you're going to see me get my ass handed to me by uh, the computer. It's pretty decent, I guess, for a 3D one. I mean, the transition of the controls works really well. Uh, Lagaya 2, um, not as impressed with Lagaya 2 as I was with Legend of Lagaya, which is one of my favorite all-time RPGs. Uh, let me say that correctly this time. One of my favorite RPGs of all time was Legend of Lugaya. Lugaya 2 was still built on the same thing. I think that's why it wasn't as exciting the second time through. Still a good RPG, especially since you can probably buy the game for $4.99. Um, Max Payne and Max Payne 2. Uh, these are the worst versions of the game you can have is on PS2. That's why I own them. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I think I just, yeah, I saw them for a good price and I just picked them up. Um... Max Payne is definitely one and two. It's going to be a good games to have in your collection, especially around the time of Max Payne 3 coming out, you know, uh, within, what, the next six months, I believe. Uh, Manhunt, some weird reason has, uh, I said weason. <laughs> some weird reason has sentimental value to me. I actually love Manhunt. I think it's one of the greatest and most underrated series of all times. I shouldn't say underrated, because the first Manhunt got awesome reviews. It's underrated because of the sales numbers, and a lot of people should give it a chance because it's not just, I mean, it is a lot of in-your-face violence, but the actual story behind both manhunts are pretty awesome, and there's some pretty awesome locations that have to do with it. I can't stress it enough. Buy Manhunt. In fact, that's going to be one of my remake this. I'm going to tell you that right now. Um, Medal of Honor Frontline. This was a classic, dude. Anybody who bought a PS2, like I, I think I said in my last video, I used to be a Wicked PS uh, fanboy. Metal of Honor Frontline was like so effing amazing when it came out. It recreated that whole uh, storming the beaches of Normandy. Like, that's insane, bro. That's insane. Everybody saw Saving Private Ryan. All right? And that was recreated. That was awesome. Um, Metal of Honor Vanguard. I actually played the multiplayer uh, with a friend, and it was really awesome. I mean, that's all I can say about that. I really like the multiplayer in that. Uh, Mega Man X Collection. Mega Man X 1 and 2. That's all I beat. That's it. Um, the rest, maybe someday. Maybe. Uh, Breath of Fire Dragon Quarter. Not as good as the other Breath of Fires, but uh, still very good. Breath of Fire, I think, needs a comeback. And most of you will probably agree with me. They need to make 
a new Breath of Fire. Uh, the Bouncer. The Bouncer is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite games on this console. Um, it's one of the first games from Square Enix that wasn't an RPG that I absolutely plowed through. It was a beat-em-up. It was like a 3D Double Dragon, and that was great to me. I absolutely loved it. Uh, Activision Anthology. Um, this is before I had an Atari, is when I bought this. I'm going to keep it in here just because it has the Atari games that I like that I don't actually own in real life. That are actually somewhat pricey. Uh, Amplitude has a generic case. and need to print a new one. Amplitude, I did actually a retro review, so you can go back and hear all about that if you want. Uh, Alright, what do you got here? Oh my god. Champions Return of Arms. This game I'm reviewing. This is one of my favorite... If I took Silent Hill out of the equation, just because I love it so much and I'm obligated to say so, if I took Silent Hill out of the equation, Champion Return to Arms is my favorite PlayStation 2 game ever created. Absolutely. It's my favorite PlayStation 2 game ever created. I'm pretty sure I just said that about another game, but this one's an exclusive, so we can put it that way. Uh, Champions Return to Arms is everything that I loved about Diablo put onto a console. Oh, I'm getting a phone call. And yeah, that's Sanford and Son ringtone. Yes, yes it is. Uh, <laughs> Alright, anyways. Champions Return Arms is an awesome dungeon crawler. You can play it online. You can still play it online. And if any of you want to play online, leave it in the comments below. I will, I will play with you. Um, Clock Tower 3, I actually said something, a little something about this. I had it at one time a long time ago. When it first came out, when was that? 2003. I played it, I beat it, I traded it back in because that's when I used to have to trade games to get new games. Absolutely loved that. Awesome survival horror. Uh, I would actually love to see the Clock Tower series return. Um, Dawn of Mana. Dawn of Mana I started playing. Did not like as much as Secret of Mana. I got it for a really good price though. Really, really good price. Uh, and that price was free. <laughs> you should never give away something you get for free. That's stupid. Hello. All right. You know what? I'll let you breathe. Yeah, there you go. Devil May Cry 1, 2, and 3. I'll keep these ones even though I am getting that HD collection. Oh, look at that. I know a lot of my games have, like, GameStop stickers and, you know, regular retail stickers. Not these. These bad boys. These, this, this is my favorite series. Series series um, from Capcom. Period. This is my favorite series from Capcom. Period. Yes, over Resident Evil. I love Devil May Cry. Maybe the fact that Devil May Cry 1 was actually supposed to be a Resident Evil. Who knows? Dante is one of the most badass characters of all time. Final Fantasy X. Second best Final Fantasy in my brain. Um, Final Fantasy VIII takes the cake for me. I know I'm, I'm definitely an odd one out on that. Um, but Final Fantasy X... You know the first time you heard a Final Fantasy character speak, you were like, oh my god, breath taken away. Don't act like, uh, don't act like it didn't tug at your heartstrings at the end when, when, uh, you know, it was all like, I love you. Yeah, come on. You're fooling yourself. Uh, Dragon Ball Z Budokai, the only Dragon Ball Z game, fighting game that I truly, truly enjoy. Uh, Eternal Poison got halfway through it. I actually beat it with one of the characters. Um, Dan Bonnet for me. I absolutely love it. If you like this Gaia, go ahead and play it. If you ever do play it, I think I said this in one of my past videos, if you ever play that game, go right into the menus when you start the game and shut off the FMVs uh, from battle. Because if you don't, every time you summon something, it'll go from the 2D plane to a 3D plane and they'll completely fuck the game up for you. Alright. Mega Man X7. Um, I did play this a little, little bit. A little bit. Um, I will go back and finish this, actually. I think I told Dan that. And I think, actually, this will eventually leave my collection and go into the hands of Dan, because that dude loves Mega Man. Loves it. Loves it way more than me. I can't justify it. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, and 3 uh, collections. I have Metal Gear Solid 2 Substance and regular Sons of Liberty in there. Uh, no reason why if you own a Sony console, there's no reason that you should not have a Metal Gear, at least one Metal Gear. Uh, you're a sports game, you go away. Mega Man Anniversary Collection. It's obvious. I love Mega Man. Mega Man's astounding, especially the old ones. Get out of here with that. 
Uh, Samurai Legend Musashi. I like Brave Fencer Musha Musha Musashi, and I beat this one halfway through. Will I ever go back and finish it? Probably not, but it was a fun game when I played it. Nice action RPG. All right, what do we got here? Oh, this one I need a new case for. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks. Mortal Kombat Shaolin Monks was one of the best 3D beat-em-ups ever created. If you don't believe me, if you really want to go look at woohoo, critics reviews, go right ahead and look at critics reviews. But I'm telling you right now, even look at uh, player reviews. It's awesome game. Awesome. So well balanced. It's great. It's co-op. You can play as uh, Liu Kang or Kung Lao and then you can unlock Scorpion and Sub-Zero. And it's, it's just truly an awesome masterpiece. The story spans through all the fighting games. Uh, no, it doesn't. I'm sorry. It's between one and two. It's really awesome. You should definitely check it out. Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. Any fighting fan, fighting game fan, worth the salt knows that game. That's an awesome game. Awesome versus game. Obscure the Aftermath. I bought this for, um, what's in here? Michael Clayton. That was a really good movie. My wife's going to be upset that that was in there. Who's sending me messages? Cut the crap. Eh. Anyways. Obscure the Aftermath. I bought it for the uh, Horrid Game Weekend. Justin and I attempted to play it uh, with hilarious, hilarious results. We weren't doing videos back then. I kind of wish we were, man, because we were drunk and trying to figure that game out, and it was fun. Ratty out of stories. Dan and I often talk about this is one of the most underappreciated RPGs of all time. Ratty out of swords was amazing. There's no reason why this shouldn't be a greatest hits. You get to play one side or the other. You get to go with your friend or you get to be against. No, wait, I'm sorry. You gotta be against your friend no matter what you pick, right? Yeah. I haven't beat it both ways. I've only beat it one way. Um, it's just awesome, man. It's an RPG that's based on choices. Um, and any of those are great. Uh, Rogue Galaxy. Rogue Galaxy, I... This is sticky. Rogue Galaxy, I played for 15, 15 hours, roughly. Um, I already had my 360 at this point, because this game came out, what, 2006? But I didn't get it until 2007, so... You can probably see why I never completed it. I would love to go back and play that game again, though. Rogue Galaxy was awesome. Awesome action RPG. Um, Rule of Rose. Rule of Rose I never finished. Um, if Ball, Ball and Nick, Nick, if you're watching this, you're probably upset at me right now because I'm telling you that I didn't beat this. Uh, it was interesting, to say the least. Uh, it's not like I didn't finish it because I don't like it. That was also a game that I had had my eye on for a while, but I didn't buy it until like 2007. And it came out, I think it came out like 2005. Uh, Shadow of the Colossus. I'm not even going to explain that to you. If you really want to know about Shadow of the Colossus, I got a review on the HD versions. Oh, and then my pride and joy is here, huh? Oh, yes. Silent Hill Origins, Silent Hill 2, Silent Hill 2. <laughs> Collectors, uh, greatest hits, non greatest hits are actually. Uh, I can say two very different games, but there's additional stuff on one. Um, the balancing is a bit different. True fans of Silent Hill know that there's a difference between greatest hits and non-greatest hits. Uh, Silent Hill 2 greatest hits is actually Restless Dreams, which is the Xbox version. So it's a little beefed up graphically and everything. Um, Silent Hill Origins was meh, uh, but it's Silent Hill and I love it. And Silent Hill 3, Silent Hill 4. Don't ever have to explain why I have Silent Hills. Don't try and make me, because you're not going to. Silent Scope. I think someone gave that to me, and I don't throw away gifts. I don't trade in gifts. I don't throw away gifts. I don't... And nothing. Um, Sims 2. <laughs> Dan's probably laughing if you're watching this video. I have the greatest, like, hidden... It's like a problem. It's like an addiction. I actually do play The Sims a lot. I play The Sims a lot. I play The Sims 3 a lot on PC. Um, usually my wife's watching TV or something. I'm on the computer. I'm diddling. I'm playing The Sims. Don't judge me. Uh, the Suffering. I actually like The Suffering. Suffering's an awesome third-person action game. It's pretty decent. Tech and Tag. Don't gotta explain that. If you don't like Tech and Tag, get the fuck out of here. Uh, time Splitters 1 and 2. Oh, I do need Future Perfect, but I would like Time Splitters Future Perfect for the GameCube. I like it better on the GameCube, I don't know why. Uh, time Splitters 1 and 2, I actually had both these games given to me as gifts. 
Um, they're fun, awesome multiplayer shooters. Trapped. Nick knows about this one. Trap took me a long time to come around to, but I used to play the Deception games, and I did not realize that Trapped was a Deception game. They had to put, they should put Trapped Deception. I would have bought the game on release day. I never even looked into it. Because me and Tecmo, eh, we're on and off with our games of how we like each other. Tribes, Aerial Assault. I bought that game the same reason everybody else got that game. It says it right on the back. Goodbye, Halo. No, that didn't work out too well for you, did it? <laughs> 007, everything or nothing, had given to me as a gift, almost got rid of it, realized I actually like it. One of the only movie games it was pretty decent. Ah, oh, I mean, for some reason, I didn't have very much space back in like 2005, so I cut all these. It was a horrible mistake. Now I need to get new boxes. Indigo Prophecy, aka Fahrenheit. One of the best choose your own adventure games ever created. If you have not played Indigo Prophecy or Fahrenheit, depending on where you're from, if you're from England, it's called Fahrenheit. Um, check it out. It precedes uh, Heavy Rain. I mean, it's like a spiritual successor. It has nothing to do with Heavy Rain, but you can see where Heavy Rain came from and conceptualized, and that has a much better story, I believe. Shadow of Destiny. You need to travel around through time to prevent your own death. Awesome adventure game. There's incest in it, though. Like, they never come out and say it, but you know what's happening. Uh, Def Jam, Fight for New York. This is one of my favorite fighting games of all time. Um, severely underrated. People, I, I feel like... I shouldn't say underrated. It's the greatest hits. It sold a lot. Um, I shouldn't say it's underrated. It got awesome reviews, awesome praise. Players loved it. I felt like most people who would actually thoroughly enjoy this game were turned off by the fact that it was rappers. Um, which is should not be an excuse. You should be playing this game. Don't play Def Jam for the 360 and the PS3. Don't play Icon, because that game was hit or miss. I absolutely loved it, because I like the control scheme, but that actually ruined the entire franchise, and we will probably never see another Def Jam fighting game because of Icon. But Fight for New York was its highest point. Look it up, man. Look up the reviews. They're good. And then Twisted Metal Black, um, with Twisted Metal Black Online. Shouldn't have to explain those. Um, and then I'll just cut this video up, and tomorrow I'll just put up my Xbox ones, because I don't need very many for that, and I'll be able to fit them here, but this is it, man. This is it. Thank you guys for watching.